Growing outrage among Red Hill families who are suing the government over long-term illnesses they blame on tainted water. HN Investigates broke the story this week that the government wants the children involved to undergo mental exams. Mahal Annie Richardson is here with more. Mahal? Kiahi, the U.S. government wants the first group of plaintiff families in the lawsuit to undergo physical and psychological examination for up to 16 hours over two days because of claims of psychological and emotional injuries. Now, part of it would include a mental exam where a young child would be alone with a psychologist. But tonight, parents say no way. After thousands of people got sick from drinking fuel-contaminated water from the Red Hill fuel spills in 2021, Amanda Feint says her daughter, Palmer, developed a fear of water. The water might grow up on the moon, and it's really, really sad to me. Oh, gosh. Hey, 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 hey. It's going to be okay. The water's not going to make you sick, okay? Feint says it actually did. I got sick. Now five years old, Feint says her daughter is still traumatized and struggles with behavioral, stomach, and skin issues. We have been in a place where my daughter is still crying and or fears water and the same fear with doctors, as you can imagine. And I will not subject my daughter to a re-trauma. This isn't about treatment at all. Um, and I think it's so unfortunate. I just, you know, I'm so against it. I, th I find it to be extremely unethical. Plaintiff Nastasha Freeman is a licensed mental health counselor. She says her six-year-old son, Dash, has tremors and seizures after drinking the tainted water. We have five, six-year-olds, ten-year-olds being treated like lab rats. Typically, these type of exams are found within family court and in um, criminal court. In court documents, a psychologist retained by the U.S. government says, quote, independent medical examinations of minors are appropriate and necessary. Minors are susceptible to persuasion from third parties, particularly their guardians. It is essential to speak with and examine the minor alone. I couldn't believe what I was hearing at first um, because it just seemed so excessive and unnecessary. says the government says psychological exams would not be conducted of the two plaintiffs who are three and four years old. The parameters of the medical and mental exams are still being debated in court. Mahalani Richardson, Hawaii News Now.